Well, hey everybody, welcome back to my indoor garden here at the High Desert Garden. So the fun continues on growing indoors. And uh, as you can see, I've got, uh, you know, my citrus trees, fig trees, this awesome banana plant that, uh, that has grown obviously since last year this time. Um, and uh, it sat out outside as, as much as it could this summer. And it's not humongous, but it got some good growth. Uh, so I'm willing to bet next summer it's, it's just really gonna grow big. Uh, anyways, I came up with some new grow ideas here in the house, as you can see. I'm very limited on space indoors for growing. So uh, I came up with some clever ideas, thought I'd share them with you guys because they might help you out. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and show those to you. I also will have an update, another video coming very soon. Uh, if you've been keeping up with the channel, you know that I planted uh, my citrus trees in a biochar mixture. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys an update on that to show you just how the citrus trees are doing in that biochar mixture. You know, it's been uh, several months, at least uh, two, close to three months for uh, some of these citrus trees since they've been in the biochar mixture. So you're gonna wanna catch that video. Uh, anyways, I'm going to bring you in and I'm gonna get behind the camera so I can show you uh, because this banana plant is getting so big I had to come up with some ways to be able to continue growing this and providing it with light at the same time I'll need to set up my seedling station over here uh, that's not uh, until February though so you know that's a good three three months away before I start growing more seedlings preparing for the spring uh, so at, at least over the course of the next two three months, I'll be able to keep my trees and my banana plant uh, right here in this area and uh, All right, I'm gonna get behind the camera and show you guys what I got All right, so here's the grow area where some natural light will obviously come in here But only so much natural light can get in The banana plant as you can see is getting way too tall to get very much natural light from this window whatsoever. So what I've done is I've taken the incandescent light bulbs out of this fixture. This is a fixture that actually was rarely used because it's the only fixture that still had incandescent bulbs in it. All the other fixtures in the house I converted over to CFL bulbs when I bought the place. So I put fluorescent lights in here and they are the 6500K spectrum which is the perfect spectrum for growing vegetation, green vegetation. Um, I won't get any flowering but I don't expect nor want the banana plant to flower indoors. Now I know what you're saying. You're thinking oh in just a matter of a couple months that banana plant is going to outgrow that light fixture. I believe you are right, which is I've already thought of that. So let's back up a little bit more. So a good two to three feet taller than that other fixture is my ceiling fan which I have also switched out the soft white uh, fluorescent bulbs that were in there and changed them out with the 6500K daylight bulbs. So these daylight bulbs again are the perfect spectrum for growing green veg vegetation. So when this banana plant outgrows that fixture, I'll simply move it under this one. Okay, and I might end up having to walk around it a little bit, but hey, how many people can say that they have a humongous banana plant in their living room? Now, what I'm hoping is next summer, 
uh, obviously I'll have to feed this plant a lot because it's in a pot. Anything that's in a pot, especially a heavy feeder like the banana plant, is going to need a lot of feed. But my hope is that next summer, when I move this banana plant back outdoors, that it can get to its full size and possibly even flower. So that's what I've got going on so far this early indoor growing season. Uh, and if you've been following my videos once again, you know that I just recently got a vermicomposting bin. That is a worm composting bin. Now this is about oh, 8 to 10 fluid ounces. of. In this jar is worm leche. If you're into vermicomposting, you know what worm leche is. And this is actually the liquid byproduct of the vermicomposting. Now it's highly debatable as to whether or not this leche is beneficial or harmful to your plants. Therefore, this indoor growing season, I will be conducting a trial and I will bring the results to you to, to help determine whether or not this is something you're going to want to be using in your garden and on your plants. Anyway, that's it. That's all I have in this uh, episode of the High Desert Garden. Once again, thank you for tuning in. Hope you uh, found it interesting, and I'll see you next time.